would have uh, have other was uh, we would have have to uh, like uh, create each and other interfaces and class to uh, complete a certain kind of operation. But in the framework, we get all these things uh, ready-made and handy. So in the uh, interface and classes, what happens in this framework is there are certain methods that are in the iterable, that are in the collection, <coughs> that are in the list, queue, and set. So all these methods and uh, functions are getting uh, implemented here in this class. So as you know that the dotted lines are for implementation and the uh, solid lines are for the extension. And uh, we know that interfaces can extend interfaces, classes can extend classes, and interfaces can implement classes. Am I clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 So, uh, if there are 10 methods in the collection and uh, 20 methods in the list and array list is uh, implementing the list, how many methods will the array list get? Oh, you guys are not paying attention. Huh? Actually, no idea how many methods are in array list. Sorry? Uh, no idea. No idea. No idea. I, I didn't get you. I'm sorry. I didn't get you. Promise me once again. Uh... Okay. Yeah. I will ask the question one second. So the collection has 10 uh, methods and the list has 20 methods in it. So how many methods will the array list have? 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Yeah. So that is how the extension and the implementation is happening. Okay. Now coming to each and every part of it. So to be honest, I will tell you that all the things, all the classes and interfaces that you guys are seeing here will not be required uh, for a lifetime. The main and most important things are this, this list, this set, the array list, link lists to some extent, and hash set. Okay? Or link hash set. This, these are the main things that are required. So now coming to the list, what it does? The uh, list is an interface that is uh, that has a very uh, unique feature of it that it cannot contain any duplicate value. Okay, so uh, just like you make any list, you are making list of uh, things you need to pack. You are making list of things you need to buy. Just like that, it creates a list of it, and with the help of it, it uh, lets the user uh, use the data. Now, what is it? You have a certain amount of data, okay? You have uh, someone's age, you have someone's uh, uh, date of birth and everything. You have all the data together. Now, what will you do with the data? You will not look at it. You will do use of them. Like uh, you will uh, delete some data, you will sort some data, you will search, you will try to manipulate the data, like the things that we play around with the data, right? So to do all these things, we use this interfaces and classes to uh, get the job done. Now, list is a certain type of uh, interface that does not allow any uh, duplicate values. Now, if I just, how, how to remove this thing? <laughs> ah, oh yeah. So uh, list interface is something that, uh, that is being implemented by the array list. Now coming to the array list. So as you guys know that the array list is uh, the dynamic array thing. I have told this yesterday, uh, the day before yesterday, right? Yeah. Yes. So if anyone can tell me what is an array? Array is it's a physical. We can't change the length uh, once it's created. Once initialized. Okay. Once uh, initialized, once the array list, uh, the array size cannot be changed it is static okay yeah. first say if you are uh, if you are uh, mentioning the length of the array to be three it will allocate the memory right there and then that it is a three uh, length of array okay now you can put the value of two you can put the value of four and six my handwriting is very bad don't mind two, four, six, whatever you want to enter, you can enter here. You can even change the value. You can delete two and put five in there. Okay. 
But if you want to create another array and another place in the array, you won't be able to because the initialization has already happened. To, uh, to surpass this kind of uh, limitation, the array list is introduced. The entire collection framework is introduced. Okay. So what is an array list? Array list is a dynamic array. What is dynamic array? The size of the array list is never same. Okay. How is it? Okay. How to erase these things? Oof. How to erase? How to erase? Clear. Clear all rooms. Yes, it's clear. So uh, the uh, array list, what it does, first say you have uh, created a list of four. Okay. Like one, two, three, and four. So four. Now suddenly you require another two places in that because you have added two more values. You can easily add the boxes or the places in there in the array list okay that is why the array list is called a dynamic array because it is maintaining the dy dynamicity of the size first second thing it always follows the insertion order what is an insertion order for say in the first order you, you have entered four so it will take it inside the zeroth index you have entered five again it will take in the first index you have entered 10 it will take in the second index am i clear yes. that is called the insertion order the way you are inserting the values inside it it will put the values according to the insertion order inside that particular index now if you want if you suddenly uh, remove the value of 5 suddenly then what will it do it will take the 10th 10 to uh, the value, second, uh, first index first index okay by that it will be uh, putting all the values to the beforehand. Understood? Yes. Yes. That is what array list does. It is following the insertion order. Now we coming can to say the sequential order also. Yes, we can say the sequential, sequential or insertion order, like uh, one after another. Whatever it is, it is one after another, another. not random. Okay. okay. So now coming to the linked list. What does the linked list does? Uh, linked list actually uh, not really follows the insertion order. What it does is it just enters the value to the indexes. And the, there are open indexes here. Like you can uh, access the value from here. You can access the value from here. How? What, what does this mean that you can access the value from here or here? First say, I want to fetch number 10. So if I, have, I had put it inside array list, what will it do? It will go search in zero. It will search, oh, this value is not 10. Let's move to the next. It will search in two. It will search in this. So by one by one, it will keep searching. And when it gets the value of 10, it will give it to me. Get it? Am I clear? Yes. Okay. So for the linked list, what happened? It just randomly pick up the uh, value from here. It can search from here, it can search from here, it does not matter. It's an open-ended, okay? So always remember, anything that follows the insertion order is easy to store data, but hard to manipulate and access. Please remember this thing. What is it? Any kind of object that follows the insertion order like you are putting something in the first place, it will put it in the zeroth index. You are putting something in the second place, it will put it in the first index. If some class or some interface follows this kind of uh, methods, like insertion or sequential manner, then it will be really easy to store the data because you want the data to be stored in a particular uh, proper way. You will not want that I am putting some value into one, I'm putting some value into five next will always want the sequential order, okay? But if any interface does not follow the insertion order, that will be really helpful to uh, manipulate and access the data. Are you getting me? Yes. If not, then I will tell again, okay? First say, array list has the insertion order following, okay? As I have told you, if I suddenly delete the five, it will put all the values to the before index, right? To its previous index. 
so that is to be honest really time consuming if you guys really think properly that each and every value getting to its previous index right also the access is difficult because you knew the uh, you knew that in the first index the value was 5 but after someone changed something it has become 10 again so how will you access it how will you know that which file like if you just think that this length of the array list is 1000 how will you access everything this is really tough right so if anything follows the insertion order it becomes really uh, like a little bit difficult to uh, manipulate and access the data but if something does not follow the insertion order that is really easy for that particular uh, class to access and manipulate the data manipulate me meaning uh, you you are and yeah deleting or replacing the uh, yeah yeah adding yeah. adding also interchanging this things okay these are very easy so this is uh, what the array list and linked list oh, let me clear this thing again clear uh, this yeah so that is uh, a little bit brief about array list and linked list i would suggest to go through the differences between array list and linked list from uh, you can go through any websites that all all these are right no issues so array list and linked list both are very important mostly you will use array list in your life okay so uh, just go through the difference between array list and linked list if you guys get stuck in anywhere just ask me if you guys don't get uh, stuck anywhere i will ask you okay simple so now coming to the queue what is queue queue is an interface that maintains the rule of P four. What is P four? Anyone in has it? First time. First time. Just like in any temple or any ration shop or any any shop, we see that we are uh, staying in the queue first. We are getting inside first and uh, getting the uh, things first and getting out first. Okay, so that is what the queue does. Okay, that is uh, the basic concept of queuing. i have never used queue in my life uh, so uh, it is not really required for you guys right now so it is uh, if if anyone wants to go through this thing you can go through i'm not uh, uh, putting much time in here i will directly uh, move into the set okay because it's important clear 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 very clear yes clear yeah very clear yeah. so this is set now coming to the set interface what is a set interface just like in mathematics we know that the set interface does not con cannot contain any kind of null value or any kind of duplicate value okay how what does it mean for say i have added 4 3 null oh my god uh for say i have added 10 okay i have added this four value now i again want to add 3 it will not let me because the set cannot contain duplicate values that is the primary basic difference between set and list and when list. you will be uh, implementing it in the real life then you will understand why when do we need set when do we uh, need the list when you have some kind of criteria that you have to uh, log the duplicate values also then you will definitely go for list and when there is a criteria that you just need the values to be filtered out then you will always take the set okay so it will it will be soon when you guys will be understanding the uh, importance of this thing so this is set mostly that is the main uh, feature of set also uh, set does not uh, really follow in insertion order just like hash set if i come to this what it does it does not follow in insertion order it uses an hashing technique that helps the uh, data to be fetched within seconds first say it does not follow any index also properly okay so if you want a null value to be uh, generated to be uh, fetched then it will just directly reach to the null value and give it to you totally it will not go anywhere okay that is uh, it it follows an hashing technique in by hashing technique if you want uh, anyone wants to understand the hashing technique they can go through if they faces any doubt they can come to me i will tell them so the hashing technique is something that the uh, set follows so that it can uh, like fetch the data in a second okay now let's go to the differences 
clear, 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 clear. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here is a little uh, box you can see, right? See? Yeah. So the list cannot uh, contain the duplicate and set does not contain the duplicate. That I have already told. And list is an ordered interface. I have told you that one goes to one, two goes to two, like that. Are, are, is, is everyone sleeping? No. No. Everyone <laughs> awake? Yeah. Everyone's good morning happened? Where is everyone? I can't hear. Like I'm hearing only two or three people. Where is everyone? Someone has joined. Whose good morning is now? <laughs> Please guys, wake up. I know it's 8 o'clock. Nobody wants to wake up at 8 o'clock, but I have no other time slot key because from 9 to then 9, I have some other work. So uh, please just wake up, get some water in your eyes and just start studying, okay? <laughs> so, uh, so order, what is order? The list, uh, list, can, list, list contains an ordered value, set does not, okay? As it does not contain any kind of ordered value, there is no po possibility of positional access. Positional access means for say, you have uh, put, you have put, on the fourth index, the value of zebra. Okay. Now you don't remember the uh, index number. You can't access it with the index. Okay. So you know the value of zebra. So how will you search? You will search with the zebra. It will give you the uh, value. Okay. Understood? But if you search with four, it will not bring you the value of zebra because it does not follow any insertion order. It is possible that when you put the uh, zebra into the list, it was in the fourth position. Now it is not. Okay. So that is why there is no positional access in set. Got it? Uh, positional access. Sorry, 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 Come to this. Mm, yeah. So as you guys can see uh, from the difference that the insertion order is maintained by list. The, the thing that I was talking about, the insertion order. Okay. The insertion order is very important in list, but instead it does not insert, uh, in, uh, insert any kind of uh, element according to their order. It... Uh, it allocates the uh, values with maintaining a hashing set. Okay. List allows us to add any number of null values because it can have duplicate values. Duplicate if values. You, if you want to add a null value twice, it will let you. The set will not. Okay. The list implementation classes are linked list and array list. The set implementation classes are tree set, hash uh, set, and linked hash set that we can get from the architecture. To be honest, just remember the architecture in a flow like if we just close your eyes you can tell which interfaces uh, extend what which class implements what be it in use or not just remember the entire architecture okay that is very very important for the polymorphism uh, okay now it is used when we want to frequently access elements by using index the thing that i have just told you guys with the help of index you can access but it is used when we want to design a collection of distinct elements. Distinct elements means? Anyone has any idea? 
non duplicate element yes unique exactly element. totally unique set of uh, data okay so these are the basic difference between list and set i would like to go to the wait i'd like to go to my eclipse and show a little bit of if it is possible i will Monica, you can stop recording actually. <clears throat>